So welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Max and Passion and pretty much in this video I'll be reacting to Charleston White exposes XQC and Aiden Ross. Yeah, let's take it in. Jokes about him calling the police. There's a screenshot somebody sent me of Aiden laughing and making jokes about it. So of course I have to get in the camera, man. <laughs> God know how to get the money to me. I keep telling people, man, you can't miss what God got for you. I'm thinking I'm coming on a streaming deal. Lisa Bloom. Give her a call for everything money you want. Give her a call for everything Monday morning. Yeah, everything work out in the face. Mama say all the <laughs> things work for the good of those who love the Lord and the according is called according to his will and purpose. Let me see. She used to repeat it like this. I ain't never read this shit. She used to say, son, uh, all your bad works for the good for you. Like my wife said that. She said, because the Bible said it, that God said, all things work for the good of those who love the Lord and his call according to his will and his purpose. And mama looked at me and said, do you love God? She said, yeah, mama. You think God got a purpose for you? I said, yeah, mama. She said, you know what your purpose is? I said, no, nah, mama. She said, but you know you got a purpose. I said, yeah. So that means you and that all things in God. I said, Mama, all things? She said, yeah. I said, what about if a baby get killed? She said, all things. There's no except, so. There's no except and there's no cause. So all things work for the good of those who love the Lord. So, yeah, that's why I keep winning. So, yeah, they done fucked up. And see, Aiden <laughs> didn't tell me that they make all of the girls sign NDAs. But they don't make the pump sign NDAs. So the guys who kiss guys can go back and tell everybody else, hey, y'all, we kiss. Notice the XQPC dude gave real names of guys he kissed. You gotta go watch the video. They make the girls sign NDAs. But the guys don't have to sign no NDAs so they can go back and report all the gay shit that they have. <laughs> they tried to, they tried, it was sexually harassment on me for 72 hours. The whole thing was about gay, fucking me, fucking this. I was so uncomfortable. He should have made me sign an NDA. He never talked to me about no streaming deal. This guy sexually harassed me about my dick. And he even <laughs> said, Unk, you fuck good. And the black guy said, yeah, Unk got that good dick. He never talked deals. It was always about my dick. Everything was about my dick. Somebody deleted my dick. <laughs> I sent that dick to Bandman Keevy. Keevy done put that dick out to the industry. Everybody got that dangling. Everybody done seen that dangling. And they coming for that dangling, 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 dangling. And I said, well, I that dangling, everybody. I sent the one more motherfucker. And they sexually harassed me about that dangling, 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 dangling. God damn it. I didn't know. I thought dick was like repellent. I thought dick make the other niggas say, ah. This dick done brought out a million of motherfuckers. Bad man keep it, millions. They trying to. You show or you show them one like it to both. They trying to make me a millionaire thinking I can come up there with that millionaire dick and just pass it out like these niggas do down off in the community with that broke dick. They think I'm going to come up there with that broke nigga dick behavior, slanging that <laughs> motherfucking dick for them big, big, big bucks and no whammy. Big, big bucks and no whammy. Now, give me the whammy. I can get my own motherfucker. Give me the whammy because I'm going to learn something. Man, they're all, man, it's just all. Just everything the whole time was about my dick. They never talked about streaming. They even got the white unk, what kind of girls you like? He said, unk, I'm going to tell them I'm gay. I said, Aiden, why are you going to tell these two girls you're gay? I don't have two dicks. Unk, I only got <laughs> one dick. I can't fuck both these bitches while I'm fucking both these bitches. What's their whole hand going to be? 
Tio, vi filmer om at der er sådan noget bedre. Det er sådan. Hvor står det? Se på at jeg giver dig net. Så hit. Det er så. Se på det og det er sådan. God damn it, man! Det shit making. Men jeg er da også shit making. Se på det. Det er så. Yeah, no, nah, I'm. I got to sue. I got to give me a lawyer. Oh, uh, then something they got to make this right. Yeah, they did. They got to. They, they, they got to. They got to make this right. You know, I, I'm giving me a lawyer. I'm reaching out to uh, at least because I'm thinking that I was under the pretense that I'm going to go sign a streaming deal. He's been telling people, that, hey, we got a streaming deal for him. But the whole time, why was I subjected and submitted to sexual harassment while waiting to sign a deal? Can anyone explain that to me? Can anyone explain that to me? Can anyone explain that to me? Why am I being sexually harassed? Because sexual harassment, sexual harassment, quid pro pro, sexual harassment. I want you guys to look it up. Quid pro pro. That's what it's called. If you do this, you get this. And you can't do that in the business world. You can't. See, the PS5 is part of the streaming, right? He's supposed to be talking streaming. He said, I got, a, I, got a, uh, I got a PC being built for you. We're going to get you hooked up with the PS5 box. We can start doing the gang and shit. We're going to be big and gang. So I think how many games you said to come on here before we can start playing? This is five games. So all of this was supposed to be, why was the sexual harassment? Why was the sexual harassment? Quid pro quo. So let's go to court, y'all. Let's settle this in court. And there's no hard feelings. I'm not mad at the Jewish community. I'm just in character playing, uh, just like I do with everybody else. Uh, do I take it personal? No, nah, it's, it's, it's all business. Uh, I understand that you were a uh, bad business dealings uh, on behalf of, uh, what is it called, kick? This was bad business dealings on behalf of kick because they have a 22-year-old signing people to the kick deals, right? So kick goes to him and says, hey, let's get this guy for a deal. He goes, it's kind of like, uh, like a recruit. So he goes out to other recruit on behalf of kick. So not only am I suing Aiden Ross, I'm also going to sue kick because Aiden came as a representative of kick. And there's also a video of Aiden Ross online saying that he's been in contact with Kick every day to give me a deal. But in the process of giving me that deal, I was sexually harassed day in and day out, on and off of camera. <laughs> so, uh, it seems like I'm joking. But I'm, 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 I'm dead serious. Yeah, I'm dead serious. So, uh, I just played a role of the fool, y'all. I'm very, very intelligent. Uh, I ain't had a haircut in a while, but I'm getting ready for a fight. So <laughs> I look dumb and stupid and old and angry and all kind of shit. But one night clean up, I'll be handsome in a motherfucker. I'm not doing shit. And I don't dye my beard and hair and all that type of shit. Yeah, yeah, boy, I'm gonna get that motherfucker hurry it and don't let the motherfucker do me how they supposed to do me. Yeah, I'll be handsome in a motherfucker. But right now, I ain't getting down. I'm getting ready for a fight. Well, goddamn it all. Aiden Ross, and Kick, y'all get ready. 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 Y'all